Get everyone, B Agent Day here. I did the unboxing of this Lenovo ThinkStation P620, the world's first AMD Threadripper Pro computer in my recent live stream. Now, if you didn't manage to join my live stream, I've got the replay up and I'll put a link in the description below so you can actually check that video out. It's actually quite interesting. And I have put timestamps along that video now so you can skip to a different section there because it's actually quite long. But we did go through a bit of benchmarks comparison of this computer and we also tried to put a 3080 card in there as well too. Anyway, if you recall, when we booted this computer up, it was quite loud, and even in BIOS, ho oh, ho, even as it's idle. I think I remember there was a comment that said this computer sounds like a vacuum cleaner. And so after the live stream, I actually contacted Lenovo to actually see if we had an actual issue and if we can get it sorted out. And yes, there was. So I have to firstly like to say thank you to Lenovo Australia for helping me sort this computer out. And I'm happy to say it is now, as you can see, running quite quiet. Anyway, I just let you know what the problem was is basically we had the top memory fan connected to the wrong header. And this could happen sometimes in the assembly. And I'm just gonna show you how to quickly fix that up. So I'm just gonna turn the computer on with the fault. So you have to hear it. So you can see that's the fan noise, quite loud there. Alright, I'm just going to turn that off. Alright, so that's why I'm just going to disconnect the power, of course, because when you're working on the computer, you should actually disconnect the power there. Now, the problem, all you need to do to fix this problem is this top RAM DIMM fan here is connected to the wrong header. At the one, it's connected to the ODD fan 2 header. And it's just a matter of just unplugging that straight like that and plug it into the DIMM fan one header. So I'll just do that right now, got it plugged in. There we go, and that's the, all you need to do. So I'm just gonna plug the power back in and I'll turn this computer back on so you can actually hear it. Of course, the fan will be quite loud in BIOS, but after it starts to get into Windows, you'll start to see it settle down a fair bit. So I'll just watch it turn on and we'll start to get the pulse very soon. This is quite normal sounds for a workstation at this class to boot up at this sort of sound. But still a lot better in terms of what it was before. And we've just got the pulse for the Lenovo sign now, which is great. We'll do its memory check and all. Usually it takes a few seconds there. As you can see, it's now starting to die down because it's now getting back into Windows now. And this is with the case off, and now we're in Windows. As you can see, it's now come, it's able to actually control that memory fan. So as you can see, the computer now runs at a respectable 37 to 38 decibels. Much more quiet and much more usable when it's sitting next to the desk. I hope you find this video informative. If you did, smack that like button for me. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button on the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.